Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam Eddie One, and I'm coming back to you again. Um, today's story is about Colin Kaepernick. Seems that Colin Kaepernick has convinced Nike to cancel the Betsy Ross Air Max One release. Uh, this article is from Bosses. Uh, dot com. So if you want to go check that out, please check that out. It says Nike was all set to release a pair of Air Max One to celebrate the upcoming 4th of July, but that is not going to happen now. According to the Daily Beast, Colin Kaepernick saw image, images of the shoes floating online and called up his business partners at Nike to express his concerns over the Betsy Ross American flag that is embroidered on the back. And this is the shoe. And Betsy Ross is the person that sewn the flag. Um, so, and this is from Twitter from Sneaker News. You can go check that out if you like. Um, this version of the Stars and Stripes has been co-opted, co-opted by white supremacist groups as a symbol of their hate of blacks, Jews, LGBTQ plus folks and everyone else who isn't white penis owners. Not my words, but that's the case. Um, this is a tweet from Shannon Watts. Um, you see that? It says, obviously, conservative street group cookies, Uncle Tom's, and <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to get through this, and Aunt Domelina, who don't know that these shoes were these shoes were being released anyway are now flux livid behind Nike's decision to did the project. <laughs> ah. And that is the article. Um it was a short article. Um <laughs> I mean, but technically, he is, it is right. You know, this version of the American flag uh, was a strong and powerful symbolism for, you know, uh, white supremacist um, groups. Uh, still is to this day. Um, the Old South, um, you know, so, I mean... What can you say? Um, uh, apparently, Kaepernick still has some pull. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows who Colin Kaepernick is. Uh, he is one of the more well-known quarterbacks, uh, you know, that was, you know, basically white-balled out of the NFL. Um, there is no way to hide it. It was a it was a, a mutiny um, with the owners and the teams, and they whiteballed him out of you know the NFL. Um, but he's still making moves, still making strides, um, still doing his thing. Much love and respect to Colin Kaepernick, and um, I do agree. Based on the general history and that version of the American flag and stars. I would say that Nike did a good thing, um, you know, and that's just my opinion, you know, it's, it's short, it's sweet, I think they did the right thing, um, it shouldn't have been an idea, um, I don't know what their, if they, what their research department does or has or whatever it is, or maybe it was just one of them, you know, just you know, trying to sneak a jab in and it didn't go through or whatever the case is. But um, ultimately, I feel 
satisfied that they decided not to um, do this type of flag on the back of a shoe, you know? Um, but let me know what you guys think. Drop down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I apologize that, you know, my video is late. I usually uh, do my videos around 9 o'clock, but due to time restrictions and scheduling, I am doing it now. So thank you to everyone that has liked, that has disliked any of my videos, that has commented, whether it be negative or positive. I love them all. And until then, guys, I will talk to you later.